What is up everyone, I'm Atron on the Game Run. In this video I'm going to be showing everyone spots you can farm in Act 4 on Inferno difficulty. I actually have all my magic find gear already equipped because it's just that easy. There aren't any monsters really. You only have to worry about a couple spawn points and I'll show you where they are. The quest you're going to want to use is enter the Crystal Arc under the Prime Evil quest. So once you've done that, go ahead and select that and start the game. If you can't get to this point, I have a video out on how you can get any waypoint or quest. So you can go ahead and check that video out, it'll be in the annotations. But we're going to get started with this video, so the first place we're going to go is the Great Span. And once we're in the Great Span, you're going to want to head northeast, and there's going to be some Impaled Angels here, ch possible chance to spawn weapon racks, and these vile uh, lesions are definitely worth getting. I've seen a Storm Shield dropped out of one of them, sold for over 4 mil, so don't pass these up at all. And once you're done here, go ahead and stri go straight back to the waypoint and go to the Crystal Colonnade. And you're just going to want to head south from here. There's a portal that goes to, I believe, the uh, Gardens of Hope second tier. And when you're here, just go ahead, bust out all these vile lesions, and there should be some Impaled Angels around the side. The great thing about this is that there's no monsters, like I said already. It could be weapon racks here too, so definitely check out for these. Weapon racks are huge for Act 4, as these are going to be pretty much the best possible weapons that you can get if, um, in the game right now. I, at least I would think so, as the quality of the weapons e exceeds that of weapons from Act 3, Act 2, and Act 1 on Inferno difficulty. But now that we're done there, we're going to go to the Gardens of Hope second tier. And we're going to bust out these Imprisoned Angels. And there are some mobs that spawn, so if you get close to any of the walkways, you are at risk, so keep that in mind. Um, but I'm going to go through over to here. And since I know there's mobs on the other side, I'm not even going to risk it, I'm actually just going to TP. If there aren't mobs on the other side of the portal, you can actually just go through and take the waypoint back. It's probably going to be faster, but this isn't bad either. And we're going to go to Gardens of Hope first here. When you're here, there's a shrine that has a chance to spawn here. It can also be a healing well. Uh, frenzied, I'm not really going to bother with it, but I'm going to head up here and get these weapon racks. There can be weapon racks around here, not always here, and there's usually quite a few bases, so that's good. There's also two possible spots for a chest to spawn, and usually if you go too far over here to the east, an oppressor has a chance of spawning as well, so watch out for that. And definitely avoid going near the stairs, as you can get aggro on from different mobs, so you don't really want that when you have full MF gear on. Right now, if I got attacked by something, I'm probably be screwed, so I don't want that to happen. Where I'm standing at right now, there's a chance for a chest to spawn, and as you can see, there's a chance for those guys to spawn when you're doing this as well. But I'm going to get out of here and go back to town so I can leave the game, and that way I can resume the game and go back to the same spot. And basically, just want to rinse and repeat this process. But that is going to do it for this video, everyone. Hope you all had something to gain from watching this. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to me on my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter at HronTheGamer. If you like this video, please click the like button. Hope to see everyone next time for more Diablo 3. Until that time, I am HronTheGamer. Later, everyone.